Entropy of melting. Ice and water coexist in equilibrium at a temperature of 0 degrees Celsius, 273 Kelvin. It requires 6000 joules of heat to melt one mole of ice at this temperature. Calculate the difference in entropy between one mole of water and one mole of ice at this temperature. So the change in entropy from uh, ice to water, uh, the difference between water and ice, when ice melts, uh, it becomes water, it's the amount of heat absorbed at the constant temperature, which is the melting point, Tm. So the amount of heat absorbed is 6000 uh, joules at the temperature 273 Kelvin. So it is 22 uh, joules per mole Kelvin because it's for one mole. So it is per mole Kelvin. That is the entropy change. Find the ratio of the number of states accessible to water to that accessible to ice at this temperature. Well, the entropy change, this really means we have uh, the definition of entropy. It is Boltzmann constant times natural logarithm number of accessible states in water minus Boltzmann constant times natural logarithm number of accessible states in ice. So we have K natural logarithm omega water divided by omega ice and this is given as 22 joules per mole Kelvin. So uh, we can find that the ratio omega water to omega ice ratio is exponential 22 divided by the Boltzmann constant. So we can substitute the Boltzmann constant uh, here, exponential 22 uh, divided by, um, I can multiply both sides by uh, the room temperature, so it's going to be uh, 22 times uh, 200, uh, 300, or let's say 295 Kelvin uh, is room temperature. And this is K times 295. So K room temperature is 1 over 40 electron volts, which is 0 0.025 times 1.6 10 to minus 19 joules. So the ratio omega water over omega ice is exponential uh, 22 times 295 divided by 0 0.025 times 1.6 10 to minus 19 uh, joules. Uh, so we will find that uh, this is uh, 10 to the power uh, 6.8 times 10 to 23. So it's going to be uh, a huge change in the um, number of accessible states going from ice to water. Okay, so we're looking at the change in entropy during the melting process. Water absorbs 6,000 joules of heat. Uh, he, ice absorbs 6,000 joules of heat to melt. Uh, it is one mole of ice. So 6,000 at a constant temperature, 273 Kelvin. The entropy change is 22 joules per mole Kelvin. The entropy is defined as a Boltzmann constant times natural logarithm of the number of accessible states. So uh, the change in the entropy gives me K ln omega water over omega ice. We're going from ice to water. And therefore the ratio is E to the uh, 22 divided by the Boltzmann constant. The Boltzmann constant value you don't have to memorize, but what you do need to know is that KTR at room temperature is 1 over 40 electron volts, which is 25 millielectron volts 
times 1.6 10 to minus 19 if I'm converted to joules. So if I multiply the top and bottom with 295, I obtain KTR, which is uh, 0 0.025, 1.6 10 to minus 19. Uh, so when I do this uh, math, I find that it is roughly uh, 10 to the power 6.8 times 10 to 23, which is a huge increase in the number of accessible states.